Welcome back, it's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with my second two-page layout using the new Candid Moments collection from Close to My Heart. Um, if you like what you see, I will have the link down below for you guys to check it out. I am going to apologize, this is a bit of a longer video. I did this while I was at a weekend retreat, um, hence the video might be a little bit shaky when I kind of tape. Um, but apparently I scrapbook, I take longer to scrapbook when I'm away, I guess. <laughs> Maybe there's more distractions. I don't know. Uh, this one took me quite a while though, um, but I really like the outcome. So what I decided to do was kind of rip the papers and have the same papers kind of at the top and the bottom here. Um, I really am loving the colors of this collection. I did, when I ordered, I placed an order for um, the paper and sticker sheet, um, and then just the paper, the coordinating card stock, and then the Picture My Life cards. And you can see one of them kind of to the left of the screen there. I am going to kind of use that as my title for this layout. It's a four by six um, Picture My Life card, but I really like... Um, the sayings on it and definitely wanted to utilize that card and so you can see that I'm kind of struggling getting all of the papers down um I wanted them kind of just layered you can see that the top doesn't go all the way across um I'm kind of going to fix that a little bit with just little bits and pieces and kind of tuck them in under that blue paper what I love about this collection and a lot of the recent collections from Close to My Heart is that there's definitely a girly feel to it, but you can also use it kind of more masculine too. Um, I had a video last week using the same collection where it was definitely a masculine feel. So I will link that up above so you guys can check that out if you missed it. Um, but I just am absolutely loving this. I actually ordered even more because the colors are just amazing. So I did end up cutting one of the um, Picture My Life cards in half and kind of using that to uh, layer, kind of border the um, card and the photo. I am going to back this photo here um, as well with white and then one of the card stocks as well. Uh, one of the darker pinks here. Uh, one of the things with Close to My Heart too is on the zip strips at the top, they do tell you what color coordinating cardstock goes with the collection, which is really nice. Um, so this is kind of going to be the base of page one. I'm going to have, you know, the card there and then my photo right next to it. Um, with the Picture My Life cards, they come in both four by six and three by four i believe um and there's sayings there's just extra patterned paper you can see me kind of playing around with one right here trying to decide if i was going to completely back um the title sticker i did also add on these die cuts that go with the collection they are a darker kind of wood grain which is really nice um, I do end up deciding not to uh, back that anymore and kind of just have to figure out then how to embellish. I really like that circle sticker there um, and there was a stamp set with thin cuts with this collection. It wasn't available when I placed my initial order but I have since got my hands on it and it has kind of those really fun... I don't even know what to call them. It's just a really fun um, stamp set. And I, so instead of, because I didn't have that, I had to kind of get creative. And so I fussy cut a bunch of the paper and I'm going to kind of make my clusters with what I fussy cut out. I did chop that out. Again, it's still a long video and I even cut some out. Um, but you can see that I am kind of making clusters there and then I'm going to also make a cluster at the top right under the other photo. Um, fussy cut a little bit more 
And then I am going to incorporate some of that wood grain. Um, there are some stickers, but then also the wood grain um, die cut, sorry. So that is going to kind of, I think I'm gonna fussy cut one more. Kind of complete that cluster up top there. And I guess I could have cut some of this out, so I apologize. Um, I am popping some up onto foam tape to give the layout a little bit of dimension. And then I decided at the top, um, there was that kind of rip in the blue paper that I was going to kind of peek some of these um, circles out of that kind of rip there as well. So I think I just placed two of them. The nice thing is if there's some that are, you know, cut off on the edge of the paper, you can definitely use those and tuck those in underneath those papers there. Um, and then here's the sticker sheet. It's just really a good sticker sheet. I love, again, the colors. Um, there's definitely some big title stickers, um, some phrase stickers, and then, uh, you know, some of the smaller accent stickers as well. So I love the different size stickers that they offer on the one sticker sheet. Uh, so I've used the camera, pop that up on some foam tape, and then I'm going to kind of use that as my base for a cluster right there. Add a heart and a phrase sticker. And then this is where I realized, you know, half that pink heart was the wood grain. And so I decided to kind of tuck some of these in, um, in the other clusters as well, just so the one didn't look out of place. So I think that is for the most part going to finish off page one for the time being I do come back to it but then page two I try and kind of make it the same way with the um, ripped papers here so I'm going to kind of do the same thing these photos are from the same night uh, my cousin had just gotten married and this was kind of a the day after she had kind of a cookout and had they had bought a house overlooking the water and the sunset was just amazing. So that's kind of what these photos are. Again, I'm just kind of using my scraps to try to get as much as I can. That blue one you can see is kind of falling apart and I think does actually rip. Um, but I do my best to use up all my scraps and um, yeah. I actually did a third layout, just a one page layout after the first two because I had so many strips of scraps. Um, I decided to just kind of whip out another page real quick. So I did five pages total um, using this collection and I don't know, I'm honestly still excited to keep using it because I feel like it's so versatile with the color scheme and it's just so pretty. So. Um, I am going to kind of layer the papers at the top in the same order, um, try to get those kind of in there. It wasn't the easiest. Again, some of them were, you know, skinnier or wider than what they should have been. Um, and then, like I said, just trying to use up what papers I had available. So I do end up really liking the way that that turns out. And then I am going to use the two photos and kind of double back them using white and then the same color from page one that I backed the photo. Uh, once I get that done, I'm gonna pretty much put the two photos right smack dab in the middle of the layout um, and then kind of embellish around there. Um, I do actually end up, I had mentioned that I go back to page one. I remembered that I have the, I don't know what exactly they're called. I should probably look that up because I love them, but they're like a mixed media stamp um, from close to my heart. And so I actually remember that I have that and I have a, quite a bit of white space. So I do end up using that. You'll see here shortly. I do fussy cut even more um, because there's just a lot of spaces that I felt like I could add. Um, one of them being that bottom piece where it just was so thin. You can see that it did actually indeed rip. Um, I just used some of my tacky glue to glue that back down. Um, that one actually that I fussy cut was on the edge and so it worked. Those two were overlapping each other and I thought it was great to have kind of a bigger 
cluster down at the bottom there. I am going to use again some of the uh, die cuts, the wood grain die cuts, just to incorporate that over on page two as well. I am going to add a couple of stickers. So a phrase sticker down here at the bottom, it says special day. And then I'm going to add kind of layer another heart from the sticker sheet under that wood grain sticker there, just to kind of finish out the cluster. So this is where I grabbed my stamp set, but then I realized or wanted to kind of take a look at um, the picture of my life cards. And so I did kind of go through them real quick. I was gonna delete this out, but you kind of get a really quick glance of the three by four um, close to my life cards. I decided I was going to make this one into a tag just myself. Um, so what I did is I just kind of measured the same length in um, and just cut off the corners there used my own little hole punch and punched that um, I have the buildable tag set from close to my heart and honestly I think it was just out of pure laziness that I didn't use it uh, if I'm gonna be quite honest so I decided I was going to use that over to the right and use it kind of for some journaling so here's that stamp set that I had mentioned and I am going to be using that. Um, you can kind of see some of the mixed media um, and then there's just some kind of pattern squares. So I'm going to use one of the mixed media stamps and just kind of place it around the layout um, and actually on top of the tag here as well. Um, again, I'm sorry for the shakiness. I wanted to make sure that I got enough of the um, ink on the paper. So here you can see I'm going to kind of re-ink it and then I'm just gonna, I guess, use the, the yellow. So I'm gonna use the yellow to pick up the yellow of the striped paper and then the, I think it's tattered rose is the pink color I'm using. I am just going to kind of place it around the edge here. One thing I did notice if when I pick it up, you can see that I didn't push hard enough. Um, the pictures kind of stuck up off the base page too much. Um, and so the mixed media left a gap between the photos and the where the ink actually plate was placed. But all in all, I'm happy with the way it looks and it is what it is. Um, I mean, mixed media is never perfect, right? So, <laughs> uh, so then I decided to use some of the splatters um, that come with it as well and kind of place those around the edge as, as well, uh, mixing up the colors and um, mixing up the sizes too. So there's like a bigger splatter stamp and a smaller one. So this is just such a real, like just a fun stamp set, to be honest. Um, it makes the splatters and the mixed media so easy. There's really no mess or anything. And I don't know, it was just a lot of fun to kind of just throw it on there wherever. Um, it definitely helped fill in some of that white space. And I do end up going to page one as well and just adding a little bit. There's not as much white space on page one. So I just added like I think it's just one splatter on each side and then one of the pieces of mixed media on each side. So really not a lot at all. You can see I'm adding some more to the tag there. Um, there will be some journaling on that, but for now the tag is blank besides the, um, the stamping on it. Um, and so, like I said, for page one, I just used kind of one splatter and one mixed media bit um, per kind of side of the layout. And then I'm going to finish off page two with I think just one more um, embellishment cluster um, when I finally get that tag done. So I guess two more embellishment clusters. I am going to use the final kind of circle sticker off the sticker sheet and pop that up on some foam tape for the big part of the cluster um, at the top of the page and add another fussy cut little piece. I think that's fussy cut. 
I think there might have been one, one, maybe one more sticker there too, some of the smaller ones. So that's going to finish off the top after I am done taping and everything. I do actually end up adding a fray sticker to the top cluster. Uh, but then after I add the fray sticker to the tag and those little hearts, I end up finding like a sticker of a clip. And so instead of using twine when I got home from the crop, I decided to fussy cut that out and make it look like the tag is kind of clipped onto the page. So I didn't fussy cut the inside of like the top, I guess, but I think it looks fine. It was just a really fun kind of addition to the tag instead of using twine, like I said. Um, so I think that is actually going to finish off the layout. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and like I said, check out my other layout that I did. That one is more kind of masculine focused. Um, I absolutely love this collection. The link will be down below as well as the link for Crafty Addicts Up North Retreat. I had a great time there and so definitely check that out. Um, if you're in Michigan or looking kind of to get away for a retreat, it's a great place um, to hang out with your friends and craft. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.